everyone welcome back to my channel so my name is Katrina if you're new and today I am participating in the one box challenge so the point of this challenge is to get rid of a box of stuff I think for a lot of us we want to downsize we want to get rid of things but we don't know where to start I mean to say the challenge is to get rid of a quarter of your belongings sounds so overwhelming or to, you know, go through every item in your house. But I think this challenge is perfect because one box is very attainable. You're just going to walk around, see what you have, or maybe you can sort through a whole room. We all have to start somewhere. So I totally invite you to join me on this challenge. Um, I didn't come up with this myself. Um, there's a whole group of us that are doing this, but it is just a great way to get rid of a few things in your house and maybe just give you the momentum you need to just get started. You know, do one box and maybe you'll just think, wow, that was a great feeling and you'll do more after it. So we're going to see what we can find to get rid of and hopefully, you know, clean and declutter as we go. All right, so here's the box. It's not like a huge box, so I'm going to start by trying to fill this one. And if I end up with quite a bit more than what I thought that I would be getting rid of, I'm going to just trade it for a bigger box. But this is easier at least to uh, drag around with me while I'm going around the house filling it up. So I think I'm going to start with seeing if there's anything I can get rid of in the kitchen. Here's some crayons uh, that are just from a restaurant or something. Definitely going to get rid of those. This cupboard's got a lot of hidden treasures in it, so hopefully I can get rid of something up here. I like this bowl, but it just never gets used, so goodbye. Alright, so it's really hard to like sort through my back room, but I'm just like trying to do just a little one over just to see if there's anything obvious that I want to get rid of. Um, and while I'm doing that, my toddler is destroying the place. Yeah. What are you doing? So, I'm cleaning, he's making a mess, as per usual. get rid of this here. It's just like never really been used and it doesn't uh, just don't use it. It takes up space. I'm gonna get rid of this humidifier. It uh, doesn't work very well with our hard water like it still works but the hard water just makes it so it stops working and then I have to clean it out like every couple of days and so then I just don't use it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. For some reason I seem to hoard uh, scarves, hats, mitts, that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's because we have cold, harsh winters and I wear a lot of it, but I don't wear it all, so I've got to find something to get rid of. Alright, so I'm just trying to go through this and see like what's in here because I want to have one basket that is for, um, mostly for Levi, but maybe for my husband's and Levi's stuff, and the other basket that's for me because I have a lot more. Um, and it's just like everything is in here. Like I found stuff that I'm like, oh, that's where that was. Trying to go through this. So I'm gonna go through the DVDs. Don't be scared to go through something that you think, I don't know if there's anything I'm gonna get rid of. Really, even if you just get rid of one or two items. Um, if you do that in a bunch of areas in your house, before you know it, you've got a box full of stuff and you feel like, okay, this actually made a dent and I wanna keep going. Next, I'm going to go through my jewelry. I mean, you could say, well, what difference does it make? It hardly takes up any room. But honestly, having less clutter, whether big or small, really affects um, how much time it takes you to get ready and how much time you spend cleaning and organizing. So I do want to go through this and just see what are earrings I don't wear or maybe they're old or um, you know, hurting my ears and just get rid of those. So 
I decided to get rid of all of the ones that are just like cheap and I've had for a long time so they're quite green and they just don't feel very nice on my ears anymore. I would just like to get some better quality ones. So I'm going to part with all of these. Could by all means be better sorted but I at least have it fairly organized and I don't have an excessive amount of jewelry. So as you can see, I did end up finding a lot of items to get rid of. Not all of them did I have video clips of. Sometimes I would just come across something and think, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, so I am taking everything. I've took it, um, taken the items that were in the little box, and I'm just putting everything in this big box. Hopefully it's all going to fit. And uh, I'm really happy to have gotten rid of this much stuff. As you can see, I have a very wi willing helper. Uh, <laughs> He's not always helpful, but he tries to help. So I let him do a few things and then move the camera. Some of this I do need to sort better, but I just wanted to show you, I did end up filling a big box and it is filled right to the top. Well, thanks guys so much for watching. I really hope that you feel inspired and even if you didn't do this challenge, that it just gave you the motivation to try and get rid of a few things yourself. Uh, if you did like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to watch the other people who have also participated in this. Um, I will link that below. I hope that if you are not already subscribed that you would consider subscribing to this channel. I do a lot of downsizing. I have a farm here so I do farm style vlogs. Um, I love to thrift. So if any of those things sound good to you, just hit that subscribe button and that way you will see my videos pop up in your subscription feed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!